Yo, it's your boy back again. It's Brody. I'm not dead. Right, I've filmed this intro so many times, I'm just fucking doing it. I don't care if I'm blurry or whatever. Whatever. I'm doing a first impressions video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I haven't been buying new fragrances. I've been a fool. I've been buying backer bottles, which is absurd. I have so many fragrances, so many backer bottles, so many backer bottles of 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 And yet I buy more. God, am I out of breath and spinning about? Jesus Christ. Right, I've bought La Anarch... I can't even say it, it's French. I can't pronounce French stuff. La Anarchiste. Or an Anarchiste by Caron. First impressions. I took a look at the box the other day. I can't speak. I got this today. I opened it up and looked at the bottle briefly. There's some French words here. I can't read French. La Anarchiste de Bouton de Trois de Cadence Poet Poisetre La Vie de l'Homme Moderne. La Anarchiste est unique, authentique, est positivement originale. Le cuir natif utilise pour la patine de votre flacon li opprote set de touche personnel. Ves imprinting faconetent la evolution de sa la coloration dans la temps. What that means <laughs> is the packaging will actually absorb your fingerprints and over time it develops like a patina and it'll kind of contort your natural usage of the bottle. So this is second hand. I don't know if the volume will get picked up here, it's about half full. So somebody else has kind of got their fingerprints all over this and put their spin on it. Yeah, whatever. So this is discontinued, I think, or it got reformulated. I'm not sure if it's still available. This is the original one. Caron then kind of released it in the whole... In the bottle of this format. So I believe all the immense fragrances follow this look. This is my scent of the day today. It's actually really good. I'm half tempted to get the third man. Totally off, off topic now, but Caron makes them. Caron, Caron, I don't know. Caron sounds more French, doesn't it? They really do make some wonderful scents. So this is a very, from what I've read, it's quite weird. I think it has notes of mint. It gives it a bit of a metallic vibe. And it's one of those like love it or hate it fragrances. This is my first impression of a, my first First impressions of something new in ages. I've just had a wash. Excuse the face, I'm covered in spots because I've been eating kind of crappily recently. Also, it's like, my clock's there. I think it's like 11 o'clock. I'm friggin' tired. Pretty much ready for bed. I've just kind of done my nighttime routine. Oh, I'm talking shit. Right. Good sprayer. So yeah, some people have said this is like disgusting. And that just the notes don't work and it's like really out there. So I'm gonna wear this temporarily, I'll be going to bed soon, and I'll wear this tomorrow to work and then follow up with what I think. So note wise I know there's mint and that's it. I can't be bothered looking at the notes of Fugrantica. That's not my style. Also a fuck Fugrantica. Bass notes is where it's at. It's not disgusting. Perhaps with time this is mellowed out. Thankfully it doesn't smell off, which is always a good thing, because I believe this might be a 2004 to 2008 bottle. So you know, it's pushing quite a few years, a few years old. It smells good actually, it's really intact. It's. I wouldn't detect mint in there. I recently bought packets of mint, which I was kind of crushing up in a mortar and pestle, so I would know the smell of mint. But there is a kind of floral, leafy kind of smell to it. I can't draw any comparison to any other scent, which is good. It's kind of unique in that way. 
Am I even facing the camera? And yeah, this this works. I don't find this as abstract or weird. Like maybe when it was released, I know, like basically Niche was kind of just popping his head around the corner. Serge Luton's and stuff was kind of becoming on the market, so pushing the boundaries of like strange fragrances. So maybe after like, you know, I smell a ton of ouds, attars, things like this, they're just so com not commonplace, but there's nothing out there to it. Note wise, maybe it's lavender or something. There's there's a sharpness to it. There I do is See if this, this makes a difference, because smelling it up close. Come to me, scent. Nah, I don't know. This is why I don't bother with videos. I mean, what the, what the fuck is this? I'll post a follow tomorrow. Oh yeah, talking of like not buying shit. This doesn't really include oud, because... Oh god, it's not blurry. It's been blurry the whole time. Yeah, this is like tons of oods and attars because I'm a knob. I bought way too much. Fuck. Hey everyone, Stephen back with a follow up first impressions of La Anarchiste by Caron. I've had this for a month and a half now, but I've actually barely worn it. Maybe twice. So, I'm going to kind of keep this short so I think my first video rambled on a bit. This is a great fragrance, it's actually very long lasting. I'm getting a good 10 plus hours from it. There's, there's no weirdness to my nose. I think I said in the first impressions that people say this is kind of a strange fragrance. To me, it's not. There's a bit of kind of a clash between like the mintiness and this metallic kind of thing that's going on. But it works very well. It has, it has a definite elegance, which I would say that Caron, that's kind of like a running theme throughout all the ascents. You know, there's definitely a classiness to them. I've brought with me some paper to spray it on. Just because. And I really do like this bottle. Yeah, there's nothing out there to this. Oh, it's actually really nice. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the follow-up. I'm really happy with this purchase. It wasn't exactly expensive. It's a good one. That's it. <laughs> Cheers.